Good evening everybody, welcome to Moor Lane, absolutely fantastic evening. The atmosphere is building really well here at Moor Lane, plenty of people around tonight as the sun's glowing. We've had absolutely all sorts today, winds, rain, hail, snow, um, so it's good to see that the sun's come out. The pitch is looking great as well and I've got to say, this is the pinnacle of the season. Still chasing it down those Salfords, uh, good strength from Paul Marshall, but he gives it away, Weber trying to get into the box, it bounces out to Gums, Gums laying it out to Johnson on the right hand side, gets the cross and it's a good one, Jim Glass is the header across the face of goal, no one quite able to get on the end of it and uh, Paul Phillips should see this one to safety, but it's good defending from Hauser, gives it away though to Haining, Haining across to Lees, Lees good ball into Pilkington, dangerous area at the top of the box, runs straight into Gums, he stood his ground really well and gets the ball clear. So head on it from Joe Connor back over the halfway line. Haining now trying to get it forward. So stop fourth point of the challenge in bringing down the midfielder. And it's going to be a free kick. And you know, 20, 23 minutes on the clock. It's nil nil yeah. here. The ball lane in this uh, playoff semi final. As the ball played through the middle. Connor, it's a nice floated one in. Housen unchallenged gets it clear only as far as Marshall. So putting it in for Dean. Can't win it. Comes to the edge of the area. Haining goes for it. Great save from Jay Lynch to stop that going in. It was an absolute rocket from Haining. It was dipping. And Jay Lynch did well to get his hands up and catch it. It's going to be G to take it for Ashton. So James Ball, the one-man ball, floats it in again, looking towards the back post. Jay Lynch comes out and again, on challenge, catches it calmly, booting it straight upfield, trying to get Solfer going. Hume challenging for it. Winning it, it looked like handball there. Bounces back to Hume and gets it to Johnson. It's a good one too. Hume now on the right-hand side. Guts in, gets it across, goes to the shot, saves, header, Johnson, top of the city one, Ashley United today, fantastic work by Jordan June, tenacity to keep going, keep going, and he just got it back, he's in the right place at the right time, and a cute little header to loop it over Paul Phillips, advantage Salford, 25 minutes played, wow. and that's the sort of desire you need, integrity is uh, part of the club motto, industry and integrity, and that, I think that defines it from Jordan Hume now. So uh, Marshall with the cross in from the left hand side, it's dangerous to the far post, and Rose is cleared off the line by Gums, fantastic header, comes back to Marshall, Marshall to Dean, Dean goes to the shot, gets it wide, and Solford the spare the blushes ever so slightly at the back there, lack of concentration. He recycles it out to Cabal Coup, part of the uh, Division 1 North team of the season last year while he was here at Moor Lane. After a brief spell, Halsey giving away a cheap free kick up at the other end though for a shove in the back of James Dean. Well, hopefully not this free kick comes yeah. yeah. in. It's a good oh. one, Jay Lynch at full stretch again to uh, keep it out in the near post from um, Paul Marshall that is. Marshall so sort of happens a few times, Johnson gets it to far post, Halsey goes to the header, comes to the far post, Koo again clearing it, Weber shoots! Down in the melee, shot from O'Halloran, has it gone over? Referee says no, looked like it was right on the goal line. So being told that this one had gone over from Stephen O'Halloran's shot there, up in the goal where he scored the equalizer against Hartley Pool. Uh, that was uh, like a carol at Old Trafford uh, when uh, Spurs had scored a goal and he was about four foot in the goals and he pulled it out there. For me, that looked for all intents and purposes as it was a goal, but I've got to say the assist on the far side was in a perfect position. Uh, certainly on the line, but here's an opportunity now for uh, charging forward. Lynch has come out for it. It's a poor one by Lynch. Comes out to uh, G. G looking to take the shot. It's a great recovery challenge from Evan Guns. The alert to the danger that Lynch is off his line. Ashley looking a little bit stronger and, and, and in more control, so it's a bit, it's not great for Solomon at the moment, I think. So Koo picking up on the right hand side, playing it back for. Gorton to boot up field, looking for Chadwick or Pilkington. Precedes poor clearance though, comes to Dean with the shot, comes off the bar. And that's that one moment that you almost took that as a striker, you've got to do. Lynch was slightly off his line, Dean saw that. And on the volley from the edge of the area, and Salford breathing the huge well, side relief there. Another team in the inside to see as uh, Workington just taking a 3-1 lead against Blythe and Spartans. That's absolutely massive and unexpected. Obviously working to the, to the side who finished fifth against Blythe who finished second. So, 29 uh, points versus I think uh, 84. 87 maybe. It's a good header this time from Ashton. So Gorton the captain still up there. Big swinger from again. It's a good one into the deep of the box. Header on it from deep. From not deep. 
Heaning, Heaning, sorry, right in the middle of the area. It was put right onto his head and he just rocked it in to the far post. No one marking on that for Salford. And there's the equaliser, the pressure's told. Really. It was sat back, really, they had it just looking like Ashton were gaining control. And, and for me, that was bound to happen. It's such a shame for Salford because they were controlling the game for such a long time. And uh, it's been a good advert uh, for the Northern Premier Division. In my opinion, they're probably the hardest division to get out of in, in, in this, this standard of football in the country. Just while we've got the advantage of family with us, how much is Ashley's experience going to play into their hands? Which is taking a moment to go with the ball out to Allen on the left hand side, cuts in, still going Richie out of the box, goes to the curling shot over the crossbar, but it's good intent from Allen. He knew exactly what he was going to do when he got in that position. He was going to cut in and look for the space. Phillips left it for him in the top corner. He just couldn't quite keep his shot down. Yeah, Ashton know how to get through semi-finals into finals, but again, they've missed out on the final furlong uh, on three or four occasions. I mean, Curzon has all the old penalties. Yeah, yeah. I'd say with FC United, seven seasons in this division before finally winning the league. So it's anybody's down to the top chance as well. On the right-hand side, Alan straight the far post. It's a good save by Phillips. Now it's. Uh, it almost has that feel of, is it going to extra time? We need a moment of Martial now, this is what we need. <laughs> extra minute, last minute, can we borrow him for this, borrow him for this last minute? Pilkington hits it on the turn, Jay Lynch got down well to save it, he was just slightly unsighted. That was almost that moment of magic. James Poole getting ready to take a corner, it's going to be an in-swinger. And it comes, it's good one, Lowhausen went for it, comes to centre, centre! Lowhausen's in, he's made the difference, we're just saying that. He needs to do something. He's done immediately now within the race to cut it on. What a goal to give himself the lead again. Absolutely sees great celebrations on the touchline. Direct corner, came in for Paul, came out from Halston, and now he's setting on the edge, just right for them right into the top corner and restoring Salford's lead. Three minutes into added time. Salford set it to Ashton United 1. Clark with the ball back over the top. Arshin Ashton throwing Hume, chasing it down. It's not quite in the air for Phillips. Phillips stranded out of his goal. Hume in the corner. He's still being challenged by Phillips. He's got the right side. Hume, what can you do with this one? Gets across in. Free header. In the absolute most of that. Soft for the lead 3 1. Seven and a bit minutes to go here at Moor Lane. And that is criminal from the joint manager. Absolutely. Well, he could only blame himself there. Dilly D down. He should have pushed the player. He should have did whatever he could. The ball got whipped across, and the back post throwing himself in there. What a header! What a goal that is! Salford in the final. Don't speak too soon, please. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> That's that. They knew they needed to do that. That's exactly what they needed to do. Get another goal in there in the second half. That is brilliant. Break. Referee checking his watch. Goes. Looks like he's going to blow in. There is the full time whistle. The South for City are in the Northern Premier League playoff final against Workington here at Moor Lane on Saturday. Extra time drama. Richie Allen, the substitute, coming off the bed. Uh, well, coming onto the pitch, coming off. Gareth Seddon came on. First shot straight into the goal to put off in the head. And it was confirmed by James Poole at the far post for Salford. An absolutely fantastic performance, a great game to start to finish, and now the focus is really on the Yeah, Salford. it's half time, but if Salford go into the game with the passion and desire, with the quality that they possess, against a hard working, good quality working team, it will be no doubt a very, very good, good, good uh, final and a, and a great way to end the Northern Premier season. But uh, tonight, Salford really. Uh, I've I been think they've the deserved best. it. Oh yeah, there's no it's question without, about it. Without being biased, well, it, listen, it's deserving. I'm impartial here, and Salford have deserved the, the game. There's no question for me. They've been the better of the two teams. They've held the ball better. They've wanted it. They've, they've had more desire. There's been a great, great goal scored by Seddon, a tre tremendous goal. And in fact, the third, I mean, what a header at the far post there, because he threw himself into the ball. Three million players, it. absolutely superb. And there's no question they deserved it on the night. And they'll go on, and I'm sure there'll be a great final.